With strong performances in Spain and Canada, it seems Mercedes are back in the game after over a year of questioning what is wrong with their car. After abandoning the concept they first unveiled in 2023, the new improved W14 looks to have plenty of performance to finally challenge Red Bull. But while it may have similarities to the RB19, there is one area that they won't be copying anytime soon. Silver Arrows Unimpressed with RB Floor The secrets of Adrian Newey are often reserved for those within the Red Bull camp. But just occasionally, the outside world will get a glimpse of what makes the design guru so special. That glimpse came during the Monaco Grand Prix, when Sergio Perez's car was hoisted into the sky as marshals attempted to safely remove it from the tight street circuit. The world's photographers were on hand to capture images of the floor, one of the most secret parts of an F1 car. And the whole outside world marveled at the complex design created by Newey and his Red Bull colleagues. But while those outside of the paddock were impressed by this feat of mechanical engineering, there was one man inside the paddock who was not so impressed. Speaking to Sky Sports during the Canadian Grand Prix weekend, Mercedes technical director, James Allison, was asked how a team could get to such a complex design and his answer was a simple one. Just fiddle around in a wind tunnel for long enough and you'll get to that. He went on to say, I think that you can see the level of care that's gone into it but I don't think there'll be a team in the pit lane going, oh my god, mind blown. But just gazing in awe at their floor is not going to be able to transform the fortunes of someone that's doing the looking. You will need to have a lot more detail to turn it into something. So, it seems Mercedes are not particularly bothered by the Red Bull floor, and perhaps the reason is because they have their own tricks up their sleeves. Upgrades come good for the Silver Arrows while Mercedes' big upgrade was fitted in Monaco, its true power was only seen for the first time in Spain, and there was one noticeable difference for those without an engineering degree. The so-called Zero Pods had been binned in favour of a design that looked a lot more similar to the rest of the field, but to focus on that would be to ignore the true upgrades, said Allison. In the same interview, he had hoped talk of side pods and engine covers would be a thing of the past, and insisted Mercedes' real performance came in other areas. He said, We made changes to the front brake ducts, the suspension, underneath the floor. I think George Russell even said that. That's where the main action is. The side pod changes were mostly so we sort of don't die wondering, rather than because it brings a load of raw lap time. The changes clearly worked with Mercedes, earning a double podium in Spain, before Hamilton made it two from two in Canada, and the seven-time world champion seems to have a car that he's happy with for the first time since 2021. This is what we're hoping for. Hamilton said after his Spain success, but Mercedes are certainly not done there. Russell teases more is to come. Formula 1 is an ever-evolving sport, and if you don't change with the times, you get left behind. So while Mercedes were delighted with their progress, which put them level with Aston Martin behind Red Bull, more is still needed if they're going to get back to the very top of the grid. Russell confirmed there was one track in mind that Mercedes were going to unveil their next wave of upgrades. He said, Silverstone, we're excited for. I think we'll be in a good place there to fight for a good result. We might have a couple more things coming for Silverstone. Mercedes are clearly a step behind Red Bull, but if they can improve that much after one upgrade package, what's to say they can't do similar come Silverstone? What does Mercedes upgrades mean for their 2023 season? Mercedes 2023 can be split into two parts, before Spain and after it. Beforehand, the team looked like they were going nowhere and had already been condemned to another difficult season. Now though, the mood is completely different. Mercedes are no longer a wounded beast, but instead one on the charge. Ferrari have already been vanquished, Aston Martin are next before they make their run at their biggest rivals, Red Bull. The question is though, when will that happen? After the Canadian Grand Prix, Red Bull already have a 154 point lead in the standings which looks unbeatable even at this early stage, so Mercedes may have to measure success differently in 2023. In 2022, success was a single race win, but for a team that was used to winning a minimum of 10 Grand Prix per season, such a low bar will not be tolerated for long then. So with a championship win off the table, what are Total Wolf and Co aiming for now? The answer to that is most likely multiple race wins and P2 in the championship. Will Mercedes be a threat in 2024? These upgrades have no doubt come too late to save Mercedes 2023 season, and Wolf will be wondering why they did not pull the plug earlier, but he's not the one to spend too much time dwelling on the past. 
Mercedes knows better than anyone what it's like to be dominant, and they also know that nothing lasts forever. As Red Bull did with Mercedes, Mercedes must now catch up and beat Red Bull to become F1's dominant force and could they do so in 2024? There are certainly many things working in their favour. For a start, they finally have a concept they can build on. Trackside Engineering Director Andrew Shovlin went as far as to say that they had been freed by the upgrades and there was one particular part he was confident could be a stepping stone for even better performances. He said, the suspension change is a case of trying to play with those geometries to get an influence on the aero platform to try and get a bit more stability in the car. It's probably given us more freedom because the issue that we always had prior to that was getting good front end when you needed it at the apex and good entry stability when you're hard on the brakes and turning in. That compromise was always something that we couldn't resolve. You're always left with either a weak rear on entry or a poor front at apex. So hopefully that's moved us in the right direction. With a strong starting concept, Mercedes can also use one of their greatest strengths and that's being excellent developers. While other teams may try an upgrade hoping that it adds some performance, Mercedes rarely add anything unless they know it will work. And it's not just what's going inside the Brackley HQ that gives Mercedes hope for the future. Just 20 miles down the road, Red Bull have their own development problems that stem from their wind tunnel penalty, which came as a result of their cost cap break, and it's this part of the year where they will feel the effects of that for the first time. Now, it may sound early, but some teams will already be focusing on their 2024 car, and that's what Hamilton believes Red Bull are going to do. Speaking after the Canada race, he implored his team to do the same. Hamilton said, it's been a great weekend, very difficult with the conditions but loving being in the car, now with the car in a better window and a bit more on the right track. For us to be up there, having battles with Fernando and the Aston and being on the second row, it's been great. To be on the podium two races in a row is really fantastic for us. We were also running fourth in Monaco, so we're definitely getting closer and it's going to be a battle of development over the rest of the season. I reckon Max's team are already working on next year's car, so we need to take our eye a little bit off the ball and focus on next year also, but happy to be up there. To predict this early who will be a top contender in 2024 seems like a difficult challenge, but it would be foolish to think Red Bull's dominance will go on forever, just ask Mercedes. The Silver Arrows are currently amongst a number of strong teams in 2023 that are looking to improve in 2024 and fans can be treated to the glorious sight of Red Bull, Mercedes, Ferrari and Aston Martin all competing for the world title. If that's the case then fasten your seatbelts because it will be quite the ride. That's it for today's video, let us know if you think Mercedes will be back fighting for the title in 2024 and if you think they've got enough to win multiple races this season. And as always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe so you never miss a release here on the DRS Straight.